Uh, my name is Derek Grabsky, and my company is called TV Dinners, and we're a location catering company for the film and television industry. I've been in catering in this industry for about 23 years, and I've been in business with TV Dinners uh, approximately 14 years. I'm located in North Miami, um, just north side of Greenwich Film Studios. At the time, it's my partner and myself, and we have uh, uh, several on-call employees, um, which is a lot less than we've had in the past. At one time, uh, I had six full-time employees, six full-time employees working for me, uh, running three trucks, um, averaging 16 to, to 25 days a month on, uh, on commercial shoots. Um, at one point, it was about 100% of my business. I was doing maybe maybe 10 percent of outside the industry, and it was gener uh, generating close to a little over half a million dollars a year in sales. My sales are down. Um, last year, I think I was at about three hundred thousand dollars within the within the industry, so it's a major drop off. And run, from running three units or th from running three uh, three separate units to now just running one one catering truck with myself and my partner, primarily. The communities benefit um, with uh, the overflow business as far as uh, as, as far as the, uh, the the food itself. I mean, we we cater on location for the two primary meals, but the the, the film community has to eat the dinner and uh, and elsewhere and hotels and and other businesses associated with the with the industry. I'm all I'm sure are all suffering. I think it's important because there's so many people that are involved in this industry that it, it, it is their life and they've been doing it for so long and it's to the point now where a lot of these people that uh, that have been supported by the industry are now looking to change careers just to try to uh, support themselves. I mean, in the past uh, it was a it was a given that there was going to be work and you were going you were going to have a couple of slow months in the summer but for the most part the year was going to be a steady year and it was going to it was going to give you ample uh, opportunity for survival whereas now it's uh, it's it's hit and miss and you're you're struggling just to try to to maintain and, and the jobs that you get aren't as large and shorter and far and few, fewer and far in between with the incentives you would get you would bring back some of the companies that that no longer feel comfortable filming here because of the the the, the costs that are driving them away. I mean, I'm not real uh, particular about all the costs, but I know that uh, the, the, the costs in locations and the costs in um, parking and things like that have just skyrocketed and driven a lot of companies away. My personal experience in this industry is that I've, I've been doing it down here for, uh, for many, many years, and the industry becomes almost a family to you. You, you, know, you get to know the people and you work with them time and time again and you get to know what they like and what they don't like and you get to know their families and friends and and you get invited to parties and and you, you get to uh, become close to these people and now with the industry struggling you're having like I said you're having uh, individuals that are, that are thinking about career changes just to survive and and maintain or they decide they want to go on the road and and work outside of the home whereas uh, Unlike uh, me in the in, when in my younger days when I I love to go on the road and work for months at a time I want to stay home now I want to work here in Florida I don't I don't want to leave and, and have to go for three months on a road away from my my home and my friends and family.